You know, thousands of people suffer from vein problems and they see little veins in their legs and, you know, they think, well, you know, maybe I'm just getting older or whatever. But, you know, if not taken care of correctly, those can really lead into some serious issues for you. Watch this commercial from Spring of Youth. At Spring of Youth Vein and Aesthetic Center, Dr. Barmada personally performs ultrasounds on his patients while they are standing rather than lying down. This is the only way to accurately gauge the pressure on the veins to determine the best vein treatment. If you suffer from leg pain, varicose veins, spider veins, or ulcers, trust Dr. Barmada's 30 plus years of experience to bring the quality back to your life. Love your legs again. Call Spring of Youth right now, 875-0885. Dr. Barmada, how are you, sir? Fine, thank you. Always a pleasure to come see you. Um, cardiovascular, thoracic surgeon, uh, specializing in phlebotomy. Phlebology. Phlebology. <laughs> all those medical terms. I, I never can get. It, you know what you do. So Absolutely. That, that's all that's important. Let's talk about uh, that. As I mentioned, you know, veins. Everybody's got veins. I mean, it's just part of our anatomy. Absolutely. And sometimes, you know, certain situations, the. Um, if you do them on a continuous basis, it's detrimental to the veins, especially in our legs, uh, which are very important to us. So uh, tell us some of the issues. I mean, millions of Americans don't know that they have these issues. Well, the most frightening thing really is that about two million Americans every year have deep venous thrombosis, known DVT or clots. Mm -hmm. People will understand it as clots in the lower extremities in the legs. Now, only about half of those will actually show symptoms like swelling, redness, pain. Uh, but the majority of people actually, well, more than half, will probably have them without any symptoms. You know, and occasionally it's confused because there's sprain of the muscle, uh, sprain of the ankle, and they do not associate that as being uh, a DVD. And, and, and therefore, this is why it's very, very important. Now, the importance of that lies in the fact that there are risk factors that we can uh, look at and make sure that we neutralize them. Mm -hmm. And there are uh, implications and complications of DVT. The most serious among them, of course, is that clot breaking off and going to the lungs and causing pulmonary embolism. Now, that can be fatal. People can actually die with that. Well, you hear about people on airplanes from time mm -hmm. to time, long trips, they're not moving around, they're sitting in one area. Is that um, the DVT problem? Absolutely, this is one of the risk factors, okay? So, so basically, uh, coming back to, 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 to the lungs for a minute, uh, repeated small uh, pulmonary embolism episodes can actually give you pulmonary hypertension and a very serious chronic situation in the lungs. Uh, so that is very, very serious. So going back to the legs, there are several factors, that risk factors. One of them is stasis. In other words, in, uh, immobility, sitting there after surgery, being on a long flight, being on a long drive in a car. Uh, all these will actually increase the risk, being on hormones, mm -hmm. uh, being overweight, uh, pregnancy. Uh, all these are very important factors. Many people will have... Uh, uh, not many, but I mean, several, uh, uh, a certain proportion of people will have uh, 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 genetic problems, mm -hmm. like, for example, uh, factor uh, five Leiden, and and I have a couple of patients who actually have that. That will increase their risk of having DVT. So uh, th there's something called Virchow triad. So there's stasis. There is hypercoagulability, which actually comes from the blood being too clotty. Mm -hmm. And the third one is injury to the vein, where it clots. And, and that's very, very easy to do. You can actually bang yourself against something and cause a little internal tear in the lining of the uh, vein, and that will provoke clotting at that site. Wow. Mm -hmm. So it's, it can be very, very serious. Uh, most clots are below the, uh, the knees, and they don't cause problems, but they can extend. Now, one of the major risk factors, of course, is uh, varicose veins. Why? Because that causes stasis and the blood just pools in the legs and doesn't move up. So doc, how do you investigate this and then treat it? Well basically, I mean, I've got to tell you that 
March, we actually we have free screenings throughout the month. Wonderful. And, and we are actually are inviting everybody to come along. Uh, of course, there's no copay whatsoever, mm -hmm. and it's all free, people who have no insurance. Now, the way we, we actually investigate this is, first of all, do a, a, a uh, clinical examination mm -hmm. of the legs, make sure uh, that there is no swelling, there's no reddening, there's no pain, Now and then take it from there and then do an ultrasound examination in the standing position because that's very, very important. When people lie flat, then the veins will collapse mm -hmm. and you will not get a good idea of the reflux. So really it's all about reflux and back pressure distending those veins and causing stasis. Stasis being pooling in, in the legs, the blood doesn't actually move. So uh, uh, after we do this, then once we agree that we go ahead and treat those, mm -hmm. we give them uh, compression uh, stockings. Mm -hmm. And the compression stockings uh, will uh, uh, ease the situation and prepare them for the procedure. And the procedure is that we use a combination of laser, um, and we do everything here in our office mm -hmm. under local anesthesia, and there is no downtime. Really, I mean, they do the procedure within 45 minutes. Wow. And we put them on the treadmill for about 20 minutes and they're off. They go back to work, they will go back home, to their school, whatever. I mean, it, it really is a beautiful procedure. And doing those things under general anesthesia is something of the past. We, we really don't do that anymore. So, the, you, it, and it's a lot easier, as you said, to check in when they're standing up. Because if you may just look at your leg and you may not think there's a problem. But, you're, but you feel, you know, it just doesn't, like you said, doesn't feel right. Well, I mean, people have a variety of symptoms. They have ache, they have pain, they have charley horses, they mm -hmm. have sort of uh, cramps uh, at night. And, and generally speaking, they have some burning feet and they're not happy. Uh, and they have ugly legs on top of that. <laughs> So, so we actually we're getting towards summer. You don't need ugly legs. <laughs> so, so literally, we do both. We mm -hmm. make we give them good legs and we give them good feeling legs. Now, so. let's mention again. March is DBT month, mm -hmm. so you are offering free screening through the month of March. Absolutely. You do need to call and make an appointment. The phone number is on your screen. They're located behind Ocean Springs uh, Hospital in Ocean Springs. It's the uh, Spring of Youth uh, Center, is, is what you can see, but. Uh, and the great thing about it is, again, it's absolutely free to come in here absolutely. and get the screening. Absolutely. And then insurance, you know, if you need treatment. Insurance will pick it up because this is a medical necessity. There you yeah. go. There absolutely. you go. Dr. Barmana, Thank always you. a pleasure to see you. Thank you very if much. If you'd like some more information, as we said, if you need to make an appointment, you have some questions, March is DBT month. So give them a call, set up for your appointment absolutely free, and come over and, you know, get some peace of mind and find out if you have an underlying problem need to take care of that here at the Spring of Youth.